testing thumb radial abduction, also known as CMC extension. Patient's hand will be on a flat surface or table in a neutral position, thumb resting on the second digit. First thing you'll have your patient do is perform thumb extension towards the ceiling as far as they can go. Bring it back down. Because she was able to do this, that is a grade three. I will now proceed to test for a four or five. Uh, so first thing you'll have your patient do is go back into extension about halfway. I will stabilize on the forearm just proximal to the CMC joint on the of the thumb and then I will place resistance just distal of the CMC joint right here. Okay Rachel I want you to resist me. Three, two, one and release. Good job. If she could not bring her thumb into extension against gravity position, I would have her in a gravity eliminated position. And all that is, is simply having the palm downward on the table and have it letting the, slide, the, the thumb slide on, across the table into an extension and then now bring it back. If, she, if your patient's able to do this, then that is a grade two. If they cannot, then I would palpate the ab abductor pollicis longus Actually, it's found back here. You'll, I'll be palpating this tendon. If I feel this tendon sliding or attempting to slide uh, any movement here, then that would be a grade one. If I do not feel anything happening here, that would be a grade zero.